430 now. It is hops harvesting time in the Willamette Valley, and before long, you'll be tasting those hops in your favorite Oregon craft beers. Growers say winter flooding and this hot summer actually make for a good harvest. Coin wants to know what it means for Oregon's beer and our economy. We sent our Chris Holmstrom to find out. It's peak season at the Rogue Farms as workers harvest seven different varieties of hops. And we train them so that they chase the sun so they get as much sunlight as possible. It's one of the first steps for growing healthy hops. It's going to be a little bit moist. We wait for the moisture content to get, um, to get lower, and then we uh, take it over and we dry it in the kiln. I found out that the four-month process brings in nearly 70,000 pounds of ingredients. You can see this, the, the yellow in there. This is called lupulin. That's what actually gives the flavor, the hop flavor to the beer, the aroma and the taste. A healthy, ripe hop that's ready to pick and prep. Hard to imagine after a year of drought, floods and snow. You would be walking through about uh, three feet of water. Uh, we had a little, we called it the Wigrich Lake. A river that completely flooded the farm back in February. She gave us really moisture rich soil with all new nutrients, um, kind of re uh, replenishing the nutrients. And that really gave the hops what they needed to survive a really hot summer. In the past decade, the number of breweries in the U.S. has skyrocketed, and so has the price of hops. In fact, the national price is nearly double than what it was in 2004. In fact, I learned in 2013 hops were selling for about $3.59 a pound, compared to $1.88 in 2004. And if you're looking for specialty hops, the prices increased to around $7 to $10 a pound. It's a taste that has captivated the country, especially right here in the Pacific Northwest. You know, the craft beers, everyone has its own little unique flavors and, you know, twists on them. Reporting from the Rogue Farms, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Coin 6 News.